on guys welcome back everybody to another nfl prediction video this is week 10 of the nfl and uh let's just uh take a minute to look back at uh, last week um you know we want to talk about it but it, you know it's one of the biggest games that happened with the dallas cowboys and the denver broncos <sighs> yeah the cowboys uh, didn't look like they showed up um it was the first time they've been beaten like that this entire season um i do not expect it to go on um you know i just feel like you know every team has to have one of these games and actually if you look at it this past week, it was all the great top 10 teams you can think of lost with the Cowboys and the Bills and the Rams, you know, Packers losing, um, all these good teams, um, lost last week. So, uh, maybe it was just one of those weeks where, you know, it, and like we say all the time in NFL, any given Sunday, and it was just one of those weeks where, I mean, the Jaguars beat the Bills. It was, I don't know. But let's just get into this week's uh, picks. Starting off with Thursday Night Football, we got the Baltimore Ravens and the Miami Dolphins. Um, you know, Dolphins, you know, beat the Texans, but, like, you know, anybody can beat the Texans. Uh, the Ravens uh, came back to win against the uh, Vikings in an overtime game. Crazy game there, too. Um, I'm going to go with the Ravens on this one. I'll go 27-10 to 10 over the Dolphins. Next game, we got the New Orleans Saints heading down to Tennessee to take on the Titans. Uh, the Saints lost to the Falcons, had a little bit of a comeback, but it ended in the fourth quarter. Titans, they brought it to Saint Night Football, taking out the Rams, shockingly, without Derrick Henry. I'm going to go with the Titans on this one. I'm going to go 24-13, uh, Titans over the Saints. Saints don't really have a quarterback. They got Taysom Hill and Simeon, and you really need to get someone else to be your quarterback because James Winston is going to be gone for the rest of the year. So... Who knows, uh, but, you know, they can get Cam Newton. Next up next, we got the uh, Buffalo Bills uh, going to New York, taking on the Jets. Uh, Bills lost to the Jaguars. Jets lost to the Colts last week on Thursday Night Football. If the Bills need a, uh, you know, a game to get them back into the swing of things, this is the game to do it. And I'm going to predict they're going wild. I'm going to go 31-17 over the Jets. I don't know, is Mike White even playing? Uh, I have no idea. Um... But if Mike White did play all week, uh, all game last week, uh, Colts would have lost. And uh, everyone should just be afraid of Mike White. Next, we got the Detroit Lions versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Guys, the Lions didn't lose last week. Yay. Oh, they were on their bye week. But, you know, it still counts that you didn't lose. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers just had that game of money out football, which there was, uh, you know, a, a couple of questionable calls in there, you know, on sportsmanlike conduct. Taunting, penalties, all that nonsense. Um, I'm going to go with this uh, Pittsburgh Steelers win this game. I'm going go, uh, to go 24-10. to um, Sorry, Lions, but I just can't see you winning this game. But maybe you can win. There's game, There has to be a game out there you can win. The Jags, listen to me, Lion fans. The Jaguars can beat the Bills. You guys can beat somebody. And who knows, maybe you guys can beat the Packers. Speaking of the Jaguars, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Colts now. Uh, and, um, I'm, you know, Jaguars beat the Bills, Colts beat the Jets, we already talked about all that stuff, but I'm gonna say the Jaguars, uh, you know, who knows, it could stop, money can, you know, change, who knows, but I'm gonna go with the Colts, I'm gonna go 28-14, I just don't know what to think of the Jaguars, but good for them for getting a big win. Now we have two teams coming up for a bye week, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Washington football team, like I said, both teams were on their bye week. Uh, Tom Brady uh, had the loss uh, a couple weeks ago to the Saints, and then the Washington football team lost as well. Uh, but I'm going to say Washington football. This is a rematch as well of the wild card game last year with Tyler Heidegge running through and getting the you know end zone and all that. So we're having a rematch. But I'm going to go with the Buccaneers on this one. I'm going to go 28 to 17. Um, but you know it's cool. Well, maybe we'll, can history change? Well, the Redskins or the Sorry about that. The Washington football team get the revenge over the Buccaneers. Guys, up next, we got a really cool game. I'm actually kind of interested in this one. We got the Cleveland Browns and the New England Patriots. Now, the Cleveland Browns just got a big, big win over the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, and the Patriots beat the Jet or uh, the Panthers. And uh, Odell Beckham is now gone. The last time we talked, he was on the team. Now he is official and a free agent. And it looks like possible teams could be the Seahawks. Um, I was thinking Raiders, but I think they just picked up Deshaun Jackson. And there's a couple of teams, but I'm really thinking uh, Seahawks. It's going to be at least a team that has a chance to go further into the postseason. Um, but this game, oh, it's so hard to pick because both uh, I I'm really liking Bill Belichick and um, uh, Mac Jones, and then at the same time uh, Baker Mayfield looked uh, different from not having OBJ out there with him. 
But I'm going to go with the Browns, 28 to 20. It's going to be a good game. But like I said, I can see both teams winning this game. So uh, it should be fun. Up next, we got the Atlanta Falcons heading into Dallas to take on the Cowboys. We know what happened last time these two teams played. It was the craziest comeback you could probably think of in NFL history with onside kick, game winning field goal. It's insane how it ended. Uh, Cowboys last week lost the Broncos. Didn't look good. No one thought that was going to happen. Falcons beat the Saints. But like I said, this is the week for teams to bounce back. Cowboys are bouncing back. I guarantee it. I'm going to go with a score of 24-14 over the Atlanta Falcons. Up next, we got the Carolina Panthers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. This is a uh, rematch from the 27 or 2015 NFC Championship game with Cam Newton going to the Super Bowl. Uh, I think last week when I made my prediction video, I didn't know that uh, also DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler Murray would not be playing. So I ended up picking the uh, Cardinals anyway. And then, of course, the Cardinals win. That's insane. So I'm gonna go with them again. I think they're gonna win big time. If they, I don't know if uh, they're back yet, but I'm gonna go 31-17 uh, over the uh, Panthers. Next, we got the Minnesota Vikings going down to LA to take on the Chargers. Vikings are a weird team. I'm saying this because every time I watch one of their games, their team looks like they could be like eight and one, and at sometimes it's like how do they even have a win? Because every game they've been playing this year has been super close, and I don't know how they couldn't beat the Ravens. I don't know how. You know, they could have beat the Cardinals. That You know, they could have they could have beat the Cowboys. But the Vikings are just a strange team. They're going down to L.A. Chargers are not the best team, but they're they're a pretty good team. Um, I'm going to go with the Vikings on this one. I think I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go with the Vikings. We'll go 24-21. Vikings are due to have a win because every time I've been watching them, they're so close. They just can't get that one, one last second. Uh, but... There we go. Uh, we'll see if the Vikings can do it. Guys, up next, we got the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Green Bay Packers. Now, Russell Wilson is clearly back. He's going to be playing. And then for the Packers, we have no idea yet if, uh, if Aaron Rodgers can play. Uh, we'll find out on Saturday, maybe. Um, but there could be some consequences of all this Aaron Rodgers nonsense that's going on around the NFL right now. So, um, I'm going to go. I was going to go with the Packers if Rodgers is playing. But if not, Seahawks 28 24 over the Green Bay Packers. Okay, guys, our next game, we got the Philadelphia Eagles going down to Denver, take on the Broncos. Broncos beat the Cowboys. The Eagles lost to the Chargers. Uh, I'm going to go with the Broncos on this game. We're going to go with a score of 24-17. Should be close, but uh, I don't know. See if the, uh, the the Denver Broncos can keep that uh, momentum going after that big win in Dallas. Guys, up next, we got Sunday Night Football. It should be a pretty crazy one. We got the Kansas City Chiefs and the Las Vegas Raiders. Las Vegas. Uh, you know, with the Henry Rugg situation going on, and I knew their team would play, you know, a little different, and uh, they lost to the New York Giants. And then the Chiefs beat the, the Green Bay Packers without Aaron Rodgers. So, I mean, they got if you can't beat them, you know, Packers without Aaron Rodgers, then what are you doing? Um, I'm going to go with the Chiefs on this one. I just, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't feel like, that. I feel bad for the Raiders because they just had so much to go wrong for them this season. But... I don't know. It's going to be a close game, but I'm going to go with 31-28 Chiefs over the Raiders. And our final game of the week, Monday Night Football. We're going down to San Francisco because we got the LA Rams taking on the 49ers. 49ers, once again, on primetime TV, also in their stadium. Again, what is going on there? What's NFL's... Um, I mean, I'm not... 49 fans, I'm not criticizing you, but you lost to Kyler Murray. Or you lost to a uh, Cardinals team without Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins. What are you going to do to beat him? Uh, Rams team, but I'm gonna go with the Rams 23 to 16. So there is a little shot I give you guys something, but uh, let's see how you do. All right, guys, that is it for this week of NFL week number 10. As we heading into it's it's all downhill from here. You know we got just a couple a uh, couple more weeks left, and then we got some playoffs and the Super Bowl. So it's going fast. I'm very excited for this week. We got the Cowboys and Falcon game. You know you got the Seahawk and Packer game. Hopefully both quarterbacks are playing. Sign up football looks good. And, um, you know, Browns and Patriots look fun. And, you know, Vikings and Chargers. So there's just a couple good games on here. And I'm, I'm very excited to see. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe today. If you have not already to the channel, uh, come back here every week for another prediction. Uh, as we, like I said, go all the way through to the Super Bowl. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.